Hi, I'm Charlie from African Energy. And in this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to stack our Wiko brand of batteries. Before you connect your batteries, you're going to need to determine which battery is going to be the master and which batteries are going to be the subsequent slaves. To access the comms ports and the dip switches, you're going to need to remove the top plate. And for this, you're going to need a 2.5mm Allen key. Both the Wiko 4K4 and the 5K3 are stackable, up to 5 in open loop configuration and up to 8 in closed loop configuration with the inverter. Please note, when physically stacking the batteries, do not put more than 5 batteries in one stack. Once you've connected your batteries in parallel, you're going to need to find on top of the battery the RS-485 ports A and B. And using an RJ45 cable supplied with the battery, you're going to need to go from port B out of the master into port A of the first slave. And then out of port B in the first slave to port A in the second slave and so on, making sure that the final slave does not have anything in port B and that the master has nothing in port A. On top of the batteries you will find the dip switches. Now the 4K4 has five dip switches and the 5K3 has eight dip switches. I'm going to be setting up a configuration of a master and a slave with a 5K3. So it's two batteries, 10.6 kilowatt hours. Now the dip switches and their settings can be found in the Wiko manual and it's important that you set the right dip switch settings according to the number of batteries that you have. So setting up the master dip switches according to the manual, dip switch uh, number 6 and 7 need to be in the up position. So we move 6 up, and 7 up. That's your master setting for two batteries. Moving down to the slave, dip switch number 2 needs to be in the up position. And then dip switch number six needs to be in the up position. And there you have it. So now that you've set the system up, please make sure that your dip switch settings are correct and that your cables are in the right ports. Once you've made sure of this, then you're ready to turn the batteries on to supply power to your system. I'm Charlie from African Energy. Thanks for joining us on this video.